Hello ladies and gentlemen, fools, my name is Stephen Quick and welcome to another stencil video. As you can see here, I am doodling out the stencil with a Posca paint pen, which um, I like to use. This is just to refine some of the initial lines that I didn't think were quite right. This stencil is a three layer stencil of a friend of mine called Romy. Hello Romy, if you're watching, wave at the screen or your phone. Yep, she did it. Um, this is the mid-tone. Uh, so I'm going to have three layers in this one, the highlight, the shadow, and the mid-tone. The mid-tone is the one that will create the shape for the other two. Uh, the mid-tones are always a lot more blocky. You don't need to be quite so careful with them. Uh, the shapes can be more um, rigid um, because it's not acting as something that is creating a uh, specific part of, in this case, a face, but it's creating a base for these the other ones to create the shapes if that makes any sense that makes sense maybe maybe not anyway as you can see there i'm doing the mid-tones of the hand which is just the folds in between um now this person is holding a coffee cup uh, the reason for it is she's sitting in a coffee shop really and dreaming and scheming i like the idea that when you are there especially alone you are kind of scheming and there's a lot of great films where there's great scenes in coffee shops where they come up with a master plan true romance um reservoir dogs i'm sure there's millions more most of them have pacino in <laughs> um so let's have a look let's go back to um romy's face let's see so we're working on the mouth and the eyes as you can see these are again it's not that detailed i'm not being super careful i'm just adding a base uh cutting it out nice and big as i can uh trying to leave islands as little as possible islands are when you're having to attach a piece of paper to another one so on the eye you can't just have that white of the eye you see there just in the middle because it'll fall out so you've got to attach it um and i like to try to leave them as small as possible when it comes to this layer um and as you can see there is the final stencil for the mid-tones it looks pretty good it's you can see the shape you can see the body you can see the form but none of that is very uh detailed or nice but you can see the shape the composition if you like now we are moving on to the shadow layer or the detail layer. This detail layer is always a lot sharper, a lot smaller. All the lines are more delicate. You need to be a lot more careful on this one. Uh, the strands of the hair will be a lot smaller. Um, it's really going from a fat pencil to a small, small pencil, a thin pencil. Um, the eyes, you put in the eyelashes here. You'll put in any wrinkles or creases on the face, uh, the nose and the teeth. You'll put like the, the shadow of the, in between the teeth on the hands. You just take that shadow that I've got in between the fingers, as I do with the mid-tone, and I'm just cutting a much thinner line this time. Um, and then the hair, of course, as I just said, will be a lot thinner. Um, maybe I should talk about what I'm using because that's the question I get asked a lot. This is being cut on a oh, nice cup of tea. This is being cut on a piece of card which is 320 GMS, which really is a bit too heavy for cutting stencils. It blunts the blade very fast. Um, I use this for two reasons. One, it can take a bit of a battering when you take it outside, uh, especially when I'm doing walls and stuff. It can handle a bit of rain. Um, but the main reason is I can buy this in bulk for pretty cheap. <laughs> and if you've ever bought card for cutting stones, you know it's insanely, insanely expensive. So that's the main reason is money, as with everything. <laughs> um, the blade I'm using is Swan Morton. I'm not quite sure what the handle is. It's an acrylic handle, which is a bit more comfy on the um, fingers and you can see I've got lots of tape wrapped around it oh blood let's talk about the blood um, I cut myself <laughs> um, as you can see there's tape and I think I've got some cotton wool wrapped around the end where your, uh, your pointing finger goes just because that's the one I usually get horrible blisters on and it hurts um, I'm bleeding a lot here um, I cut myself pretty badly which is part of the course um, oh they, you can really see the detail there, the dots oh and I've messed up there so if I mess up and things are falling apart Part, I use a stuff called magic tape, um, which is this very strong tape, which is nice and easy to cut. I do recommend it if you use it. Um, if you have a mistake, use that. And there you can see the black layer, the shadow layer with added blood. And you can see you can see her face, you can see Romy's face much better here. And you can see where the hair is dangling and it looks perfect. Now we're on to the highlight. The highlight is where I add my, if you like, stamp my mark. I don't use stencils to make it look like something come out of Photoshop. I like to draw with the knife. I draw my rough, like say I'm drawing roughly where the cheek is there and then I use the knife to sort of swirl and make these swoops. Um, you can do whatever style you want. You can make it ragged, jaggedy. There are lots of artists who make it very um, sort of pointy and you just find your own style. That's the fun of it. Um, but I like to treat the knife as a pencil. So try that. Don't think of it as a knife. Don't think of always following the lines. Just be expressive with it. Um, this layer, the, the um, highlight layer, sorry, is 
mainly the face and the hands because this is a painting where the face and hands are the main thing the hair um, i'm only putting a few highlights in it because the hair is dark on the face unless you are daenerys <laughs> um she's not daenerys i don't think she's in game of thrones um <laughs> i say um all the time maybe count me times i say um there it is there's the final uh highlight stencil you can see much bigger swirly drawn lines much more pretty much more arty varty if you like um that looks cool um and then we come on to i said um again that's about 50 i reckon uh there's the final three the final three stencils all beside each other you can see how the mid-tone will fit with the highlight and how the highlight will fit with the shadow um, when i come to spraying this i will go the mid-tone first to so the first stencil you saw then i will go the detail stencil the black one um, the shadow one and then i'll put on the highlight at the top you can do whatever all you want i always seem to like putting on the highlight at the end because it's easier to go back in with shadow over highlight than it is to put highlight over shadow mainly because of just the pigment in the paint so anyway that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, this was a painting which is being painted right now it's called cheers darling um to do with the coffee um thank you for watching thank you for romy for being my model for this and uh please subscribe like comment and all that crap down below i shall see you in the next video bye